that type of game. Uh, obviously, Mercyhurst has really, really improved as a basketball team. That's one of the best defensive teams we've faced all year in the half court. Uh, they're really, really well coached, tough. Uh, every possession was a grind. I think we just made a few more plays in the end. Uh, we went a little bit zone there at the end to try to try to mix it up. Uh, I think we were one of three. It backfired a little bit on that three-pointer, but but our guys did a great job in the end, staying poised, uh, and they really made some plays down the stretch. But uh, we're just happy to advance. I think the regional is really, really good. Uh, you hear a lot of talk about uh, this is the worst region uh, in Division Two. I read that somewhere yesterday, and I kind of kind of chuckled. Um, I think this is a great region with a lot of great players, and these two guys here sitting beside me are certainly great players. So we're happy to advance and uh, go get some rest. Coach, what was the conversation up three with 30 seconds to go versus? You know, that, that, that's an interesting thing. I just told my guys that that's probably the most talked about play in basketball right now. You know, every year it changes. Uh, I left it up to them. Uh, I wanted to foul. Uh, Coach Missoula wanted to foul. Uh, we've seen too many games. Uh, too many seasons uh, lost by not fouling. But these guys said, Coach, we're going to get a stop. Caleb Davis did a tremendous job staying down on the shot fake. The guy leaned into him. Uh, so I listened to my players. I think sometimes as a coach, they have a better feel than me. And they really wanted to just switch every screen uh, and give up a two and not foul. We did a great job. I'm glad it worked. Nick. It's late. Sorry, it's late. Twenty-six points, ten rebounds. It was just a great performance. What, what was um, working for you? Um, just a mindset. I'm a senior now. This is my last uh, go round as far as the tournament. Um, you know, my coaches always talk about having no regrets. So that's the goal. Sure. The first half, you guys had something like two assists. I think it was two assists, nine turnovers. Um, you kind of reverse that around. Second yeah, half. the crazy part is that's that's a team that just plays half court defense. So that shows you how good their matchup is. Uh, and that's a team that beat IUP twice. Uh, so we we really respected uh, the way they were coached. Uh, you know, you watch t teams on tape and you see them. That was a very well coached team. And I told our guys, we just got to relax. You know, I only got one guy, uh, Nick Harney, that's played. Uh, in an NCAA tournament. So I thought our fans were uptight. I thought our players were uptight. Um, you know, I've been in 11 out of 12 of these things. Uh, and I just thought our guys were too uptight. You know, they needed to relax, go play. Uh, the first game is always the hardest. You know, it's, it's always the hardest to get out of the way. It's 8.30 game. Our guys been sitting around all day. Uh, it's a tough time slot. But, um, you know, I think the nerves had something to do with that in the first half, our balls. How about your thoughts on it? Um, that's a tough team. That's one of the best defensive teams we've played all year. You know, their matchup is something we really haven't seen. You don't see that much in our league. And I felt Big Key was our was our role guys. I feel like Trevor Evans gave us great minutes. Caleb Davis, you know, Shan played really well. And with Thomas being a foul trouble, Trevor definitely stepped up and helped us a lot. And uh, that's what we was the key to our future. Come on, nobody's going to ask about round three. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the number one question. Oh, yeah, they, they played outstanding. 70% versus like unheard of. They were five points shy of setting the or tying the tournament record for points in an NCAA tournament game for Division II. Um, you know, we saw them last week and they played probably as bad as they could play against Dunville, but played great tonight. Thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I, it's obviously Dwayne, they've earned the right to host uh, the NCAA tournament. If you do the studies, most of these teams in Division II, uh, the host team wins. I think two years ago we were up here, seven out of eight advanced to the lead eight. So it shows what you're up against. Uh, we understand we're the big, big underdog in the game. Uh, so we'll embrace that. But we also understand uh, we went one and one in the regular season. Uh, they shoot the ball unbelievable in this building. So uh, it's going to take a great effort uh, to pull the upset.